Hi everybody, welcome back to Oblivion. It has been a hot minute, hasn't it? It's been a long time, but I thought I would revisit this. So yeah, back to Mounted Oblivion. I think we're going to do Dark Brotherhood stuff today, to be honest with you. Uh, so it says my press log. I have to... Re oh yeah, we killed Rufio last time. You know what? It's probably been like four months, honestly. Rufio. So, I just got to go to bed. Uh oh, <laughs> presents. So the deed is done. Oh, look who it is. How do I know this? You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Oh, does it mean I get my sick armor soon? Indeed. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant, the manner of execution, your signature. Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chadenhall, to the abandoned house near the Eastern Wall. Enter the basement and attempt to open the Black Door. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Sanguine, my brother. You will gain I love how dramatic he is. Once inside. It's I love this game. It's so classic. We must now take our leave of each other. You and I. For there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome, Welcome to the family. To the family. You guys, you know, I really miss old Bethesda games, like the era of Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3. New Vegas wasn't theirs, so technically it's not theirs. You know, they published it, but yeah, I really miss this era a lot. Well met. You know, it's not even that like I hate Fallout 4. I just, you know, this was this was the time for sure. So he said, Shaden Hall, right? right there. It's strange. Oh, I forgot I had a horse. That's right. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. It's I think Oblivion was the only game they made where you actually don't really need mods to play it a lot. Like, I remember I beat this game first time on Xbox. Oh, I went in the wrong house, didn't I? Yeah, sorry, Douglas. Yeah, I, I beat this on Xbox and I didn't, obviously there was no mods back then and I never really felt that it was rough. Wait, isn't there... Was it this building? Oh yeah, boarded up house. So my me guards is they just like pick the lock. Security skill has increased. Um, But I do really like the mods in this game, it definitely adds to it, like... I don't know if my face is that potato-y. I know she is by default, but... I really like this game too, because it has that sort of a... F sort of high fantasy feel, if you know what I mean. All sorts of creatures and spells, and I like casting in this game too. Because you can do it while you're using a bow. What is the cover of I wish you could sit down. Sanguine. Sanguine? Sanguine? I don't remember how he said it was. I'm invisible! Um... Why am I invisible? Do I have a spell for that? No. Store. Wait, what? Tickle? What? Greetings. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucian has told me all about you. You guys know I haven't played ESO really very much. Dark brother I played it way back when it came out, but I kind of want to get back into it. Pleasure to welcome another dark sister into our ranks. Truly, the Night Mother smiles upon her trusted daughters. You stand now. But I still feel that pull to play it much. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. 
When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Yes. But I've kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Let's go talk to Vincent. Go now, dear family member, and may the night mother wrap you in her. You know, I feel like Bethesda was the king of like ambience and environment back then. I made a big mistake. What? Ah. Um, should I? Yes. Go away. Um, uh, should I tell her to go away for a while? Yes. What? Oh. That's the best you can do. My Okay, I'm just gonna reload. Go now. Okay, so I've dismissed her. May the night mother wrap you in her cold loving. I've heard so much but about why, you. Sister? <laughs> That's so weird. She just started attacking people. With all that sneaking and skulking? My dear Gogra, you are Where's this guy? For the dark brotherhood. Our very so it's kinda nice that I can play this on one monitor now, before I had to shut my other one off. Of the performance seems better too. Uh, warmest greetings to you. There's Vincent. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. I like being a vampire in Skyrim. It's uh, really good. A contract is a secret pact one in a Okay, I already know that. Yes, let's accept it. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Cool. Oh, let's go kill Gaston. Farewell. Should I ask someone for help, though? Let's see if uh, that, liz that lizard will... You must at least strive to earn the... Hey, who are you? Warmest welcomes to you. I am Talandril, Wood Elf, and loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find... I love how you can just talk to her while she's in the middle of a conversation. Pirates, eh? They tend to be quick and good with a blade, but don't favor armor. They're not fond of bows or spells, either. Let's go see what the lizard says. I see you've accepted the contract from Vicente. Very good. With every life you take, Sithis grows stronger and the Brotherhood flourishes. I killed a pirate once. Of course, the ship was out to sea at the time, somewhere between Vardenfell and Solstheim. Now those were the days. Uh, that didn't help me at all. So much <laughs> welcome, dear sister. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. If you need anything, anything at all, you need only ask. Contract. I traveled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. There was little room to move around, but plenty of shadowy nooks to hide in. Remember that. Well, that's helpful. It is, actually. Everyone else is telling me their life story. I really like this sanctuary, though. Probably like my favorite one. Uh, where's our new stuff that we got? Shrouded armor. Ooh, fortified blade and marksman. 
Acrobatic? Yeah. It's only point two. I, I kind of want to have my head empty though. All right. I think I'm going to leave Vilya here until all my assassination missions are done. Because she just whips out her sword and just goes uh, crazy on people. Why are you looking at me like that? Right. So off to Imperial City. I remember we can just sneak inside a barrel. Yeah, so we're doing arrow, bow and arrows on this character. So I'm actually kind of excited for Shivering Isles because you can get some cool weapons and armor. So I'm probably going to do that when I'm able to at the proper level. And that guard is totally walking like a model. That is so funny. What did I, do I forgot that walking animations are uh, everyone has them. The Maria Elena, damn fine ship with a damn fine crew. I should know. I'm her first mate. Malvulus is my name. So believe me when I tell you we don't like it when people snoop around in our affairs. You get near that ship and my men will run you through. Any news? Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> Oh man, just vicious. So can I like, yeah, hide in the crate. She just starts off all nice. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to run you through. Why would you put crap in a... Oh, repair hammer. Well. Cool. Ulted doublet. Yeah, I like having the loot menu. It's like such a good mod. It's the one that I feel like you always need. I mean, it's not working properly because it shouldn't open it like that. I remember it can get a little dicey when you start um, killing people. Um, but let's go find somebody. I'm telling you, lad, it's bad luck. Woman on board a pirate vessel. <laughs> Back in my day, it never would have happened. Oh, come now. How many times has Malvola saved our necks, huh? Captain Tussaud keeps her on for a reason. She's a better sailor than any one of us. Hold there, laddie. Now you're just being insulted. She may be tougher than me, and Mina too, but a better sailor? It ain't even possible! All right, how could I forget? That time we were almost dashed upon the rocks near the city of First Hole. That was somebody else at the helm. I told you a million times it wasn't my fault. <laughs> this guy's probably just a drunk. My hand slipped. Happened to anyone. Hey, trap. Don't oh, that's where I came out of. She could sail better than you in her sleep, you old fool. Ah, you mark my words, boy. That dark elf trollop is bad luck. The captain will end up dead with her around. You'll see. He probably just hates elves. You better watch your tongue, old man. Captain Tussaud hears you talking like that. He'll cut it out. Now, come on. We've been gabbing long enough. I'm curious if he will... Oh, I don't have a weapon out. Are <laughs> they just going crazy? So I wonder if anyone heard that. I might just press F. It seems to be broken, like um the quick loot. It's, it's a nice add-on, but it's... I'll just reinstall it next time and it should be fine. It's weird, like it opens up the thing anyway. Like that. Like it takes it, but it uh, also opens up the menu. That's weird. Okay, so we're going upstairs, right? I mean, they probably know I'm here now. Watery grave. I've gained access to the captain's cabin. If I can kill this guy without... Oh, he probably already sees me. Hey. Ah. 
<laughs> He's dressed really nice. Gaston Toussaint is dead. Now I must return. Oh, I'm in trouble. Greetings to you. Doesn't look like anyone's following me. So back to the sanctuary. Oh man, so I just want to hear this, the music just like cut. I always think the game's going to crash and then it like scares me. May your kills be quick and, many. and I hope you guys are okay with the format. So I'm going to try and do shorter videos to see how that goes. Let me know if you're okay with that. Oh, right. I'm playing like this short little custom race and I kind of like it. It's like a moon elf or something. Hello, my so the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary, my newest sister. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting. He could have just given it to me earlier and just walk away. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? Yes, but we'll do that next time. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl. I know for a lot of the later Brotherhood quests, I need to get my sneak up. ...of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. Okay. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Okay, so let's do a little um, exploration and then we will call it a day. I want to kind of keep up. Uh, where is it? This uh, this corner. Can I get out of this way? I wish no, I cannot. You to this sanctuary, my newest sister. It's okay, so a walk animations. I got to get rid of. It's kind of silly. Yeah, I really miss the banter in these games too. Like, uh, that's something like the newer games just don't have. Like, so I don't think I'll get my sneak up with um, Vilia very much because she just runs in right away. So I'm gonna leave her here for now. Let's maybe go explore like Lake Lake Poppet. Let's go here. Yeah, honestly, this is probably like one of my favorite Bethesda games. So classic, and I don't know, just always a good vibe in this game, and the music helps. I can't set pins, can I? All right, we'll take you. And let's go this way. The only bad thing with this game, of course, was the illustrious um, horse armor, which I'm sure you guys know about. So I'm not sure how fast this horse really goes. I guess faster, I think, but not by much. Let's go straight south, maybe. I think the more east we go, we'll end up going into Morrowind. Also, being on a horse, you can't get herbs very much either. So it's probably worth it when you're going like long stretches of land to get somewhere, but for this, probably not. I should start again doing a lot of alchemy for my character. Oh, it wasn't him. Okay. 
Whoa, big jump. Yeah, that hurt. So here's the cave. I knew there'd be something here. The other thing I wish that I had in my HUD is um, a crosshair. But I'm using Nord UI, so I don't know if there's an option in that or not, but... I think this game is beautiful, especially modded, right? Well, even like without mods, like it's still a really good looking game. For its time. Oh, did I put points in her herbalism or alchemy maybe? Like, usually I don't find that much stuff like that. So where is this cave? It's just... Oh, right there. Creepy. Okay, so what do we got here? Dude, these caves are so... I love the ambience in this game. Just like that low level ambience from Bethesda, like... Feels so nice. Oh, is this like a vampire cave? Oh, it's a welkin. You gotta be careful not to grab too much of those. I don't think there's any enemies right here. What do we got? That's the entrance, right? Hmm. Yeah, see, like it works sometimes, but it. I think maybe I have the same key. Maybe I should try. Trolls? So. Grab a Z. Yeah, the problem is activate is already set to E. I'll have to change that. Asks for next time, I guess. Okay, so this is a welkin cave, so there probably is going to be skellies. Never mind, there's... What's this? Hello there. Go ahead, please. Jeez, I was going to, like, shoot her with an arrow. I saw a wraith once. It threw a curse on me I'll never forget. Is that supposed to be the body of a human? Because, like, her head is scaly? Farewell. See what I mean? Like, looks like her... Her chest or whatever is supposed to be a, like, it's like a human body part, and then... I don't mind if I take that, do you? Magic from the sky. Okay, well, let's see if we can get something open here. Hmm. Does she have a key? How goes it? Yoink. Alright, well, I don't have the key to get in there. I'm not sure how... Unless they, we can find a, like, switch on the door. I don't see anything. You like cask. Bolt. Oh, she's sleeping. I thought maybe like something to do with this altar, but I don't see anything. I don't see anything on here either. Sometimes there's some sort of switch. But uh, I don't think I can get in there really. 
unless she has it. I'm gonna kill her. Let's get a quick save. It quick. Okay. Oh, <laughs> she's an important NPC. And I knocked her unconscious. Did I miss something back here, maybe? Probably not. Okay, so it was already there. That's the, that's the exit. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Um. I'll come back here later, maybe. Figure out what's going on here. But um, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. A little short one today. We'll do the next part of the Brotherhood on the next video. So that would be the one where we have to sneak into the house and kill that guy. Um, but uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. And like the video, like and subscribe. And if you can, share. That'd be great. Thanks. Bye.